Hi guys, I'm Jamie Patterson of Jamie Patterson Photography and this is my world. Today I wanted to give you a quick lesson on how to uh, get that really blurry water effect. It's really easy if you guys know how to do it. Uh, um, so what I've done is I've set my camera up. My video is actually sitting on top of the camera at the moment so I can't show you but I've set it up to aperture pri priority. I've made it uh, f16 because I'm using a uh, that's as high as I can go on my lens, but if you've got a, a wide angle lens, you might be able to go to f22. I'm using ISO 50. You guys may not be able to go down to ISO 50, but if you can go down to 100, go down to 100. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the light to fall. Uh, because it's really hard to do the blurred water effect in the middle of the day. So at the moment, it's about 5 o'clock. We're about 15 minutes away from sunset. Um, in about 15 minutes, I start shooting, and you can see the water's just drip just uh, running up and down the beach here um, so it's going to make for a really nice effect so to get the blurry effect set your ISO as low as you possibly can make sure you're in low um, low light situations so sunrise sunset also you don't have to but set your aperture as high as you possibly can or low you can never remember f16 f22 whatever your lens will do and start shooting away. Really important that you use a tripod as well because you're gonna have exposures of one second plus and you won't be able to hold your camera in steady for that period of time. Um, I normally find that exposures anywhere between one to four seconds create the best results. So um, go out there, give it a go guys, best of luck.